This video will cover the topic, Evaluating an Exponential Function with Base E that Models a Real-World Situation. I've done problems where I evaluate an exponential function that models a real-world situation. So what makes the function having base E in it different? That's a good question. In the end, this topic is not much different than the topic that had you evaluating an exponential function that models a real-world situation. The only difference is that now the function we use will have base E in it, like in this problem. A can of soda is placed inside a cooler. As the soda cools, its temperature, T of x, in degrees Celsius, is given by the following function, where x is the number of minutes since the can was placed in the cooler. T of x equals negative 7 plus 31 times e raised to the negative 0.025x. Find the initial temperature of the soda and its temperature after 15 minutes. Round your answers to the nearest degree as necessary. Hey, it looks like this problem wants us to choose inputs to plug in for x that will answer their questions, just like in the other topic. You're right. Let's begin with the first question, which is the initial temperature of the soda. Do you remember what our input needs to be to find the initial value of a function? I remember that the initial value means the value of the output in the very beginning of the situation. So wouldn't the input be zero, because that would be the temperature of the soda when no time has passed? Exactly. Now that we've determined to substitute in 0 for x, let's put it into our function. Now we get t of 0 equals negative 7 plus 31 times e raised to the negative 0 0.025 times 0. When we use a calculator to solve for the output, we get the answer t of 0 equals 24. This tells us that the initial temperature of the soda is 24 degrees Celsius. How do you think we should do the next part of our problem? Alright, for the next problem they want us to find the temperature of the soda can after 15 minutes have passed. So that means that we'll use 15 as our input, which would make our function look like this. t of 15 equals negative 7 plus 31e to the negative 0 0.025 times 15. And when I solve for the output with my calculator, I get 14.305. The problem asks us to round to the nearest degree, so the answer must be 14 degrees Celsius. You're right. That means our two answers for the question are 24 degrees Celsius and 14 degrees Celsius. Okay, so when evaluating an exponential function with base e, that models a real-world situation. We need to identify what values to input for x based on what the question is asking, and then we can find our outputs. You seem to really understand this topic. 